As a general rule, folks, keep this in mind. Always, but like, always validate your input. Like, always. The oh my god, this is so dangerous, dude. You see this? This is like insanely dangerous right now. Actually, even like this is dangerous. So I'm gonna just teach you something. Every time you access your request layer without any sort of validation, you are putting yourself in the dangerous of runtime exceptions, okay? So here, for example, I'm getting a simple request, okay? And this request is like not validated. It comes from Laravel, literally, okay? Here, I'm assuming that the search will be an array, which contains a value, which might not be the case. So here I can see a runtime exception happening if the user tweaks the query parameters literally on the URL. Same goes right here. You are assuming that we have multiple orders thanks to this zero key. If you don't have, it will be a runtime exception. You are also assuming that it's a column or a deer. So multiple problems here regarding runtime exceptions that may happen on your code, okay? Then you are doing a query to your eloquent model. So nothing really bad about this in particular. You are conditionally making a query, which does look okay. And if you have a search, you will literally provide a like search, which in hindsight, some people say that a like is a bad thing, but you don't, if you have a controlled space of database rows, it's actually okay. You can literally use the like, you know? What you have to do here is, it's okay that you access the information like this, just be sure you have a form request right here that validates all the input you know what i mean so here for example what i would do here is the following i would create a form request with the name list countries request okay so this would be list countries request and with that within that form request i will ensure that search is an array in us have a value key and i would validate all this input so then when you reach this line 12, you already know that you have valid information of the request and you can literally move forward a little bit, you know? So all of, to the, if the information on the request is valid, all of this stuff is okay, you know? So like this code effectively looks okay. I probably will do a little bit different with Spassy Query Builder potentially, but it does look okay. And then you do pagination this way. Interesting. It's not necessarily bad. However, you can literally use the Laravel collections paginate. Are you familiar with that? Yeah, you see this thing? Instead of getting the elements on the pagination, instead, you would keep the query builder and you would just call paginate with the number of elements you want to paginate. And automatically, Laravel will just add the information to the JSON response. All right, let's see this one. Um, this one is called a to-do controller or the same problem as the previous code. If the person gives you an array here, this is funny, but literally through query parameters, people can give you an array here. So this will be an array, meaning that this condition will be true and you will be sending an array here, which will cause again, a runtime exception. So as a general rule, folks, keep this in mind. Always, but like always validate your input. Like always, the request input always validated through form requests, always. So here we need to validate the input, obviously. Uh, here there's another problem, okay? Right here. You see this to do all? What happens if you have a thousand to do's? Sometimes you may actually validate this elsewhere, but if you don't validate the number of to do's you have, this can potentially occur in the problem, which is you are returning too much information. So for example, if you have a thousand to-dos, for example, this will return effectively a thousand to-dos, which will not be performant for the browser to render right here. So you want to return this, but paginated. So the person consuming this API can effectively paginate through your items and get them all. You know what I mean?